Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2021, on this month of April 23rd, Friday morning, together to worship our God, to praise our God, our Heavenly Father for every wonderful opportunity. Let us tell Him thank you from the depth of our heart. Let us lift our hands and worship Him. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. We worship you. We praise you. Last full morning, the Lord who protected us for His love, tell Him thank you. Father, we love you. We praise you. We worship you. We tell you thank you, Lord. Thank Thank you. Last night for the good sleep you gave us. Father God, we are telling you thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. With good health and happiness to be awake this morning. For the great privilege for this morning you have given to us. We are telling you thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Father, this morning, wonderfully you who is leading us, we are telling you thank you. Wonderfully for the way you are protecting and preserving and taking care of us, we are telling you thank you. Father, we are worshipping you. Father, we praise you. We lift your name on high. You who is worthy of worship. You who is alone worthy of our praise. Father, we worship you. Father, we praise you for all that you have done for us. We are telling you thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. The psalmist is saying in Psalms 45, Four, verse number one we have heard with our ears O god our fathers have told us the deeds you did in the days in days of old hallelujah so what is it saying over here it says we have heard with our ears O god our fathers have told us the deeds you did in their days so, there is an instruction from this word which we have to apply in our life. What the Lord has done for us in our life, we should tell it to our children. And when they go somewhere, they should say, The God who protected my parents, the God who took care of my parents, to say in that manner, if they have to receive it, only if we say will they understand and enjoy and experience also God in their life and trust in Him. Verse number 6 and 7. I will not trust in my bow, nor shall my sword save me. But you have saved us from our enemies and have put to shame those who hated us. In God we boast all day long and praise your name forever. Lift your hand and say, In God we boast all day long and praise your name forever ever sailor hallelujah meaning wait and think we will praise your name forever hallelujah tell the lord thank you see what the psalmist is saying let us also say in that manner in your name we will always praise forever so this morning let us also with confidence pray what will we do to your name lord we will praise your name forever dear heavenly father in the name of jesus for this morning thank you last full morning you protect us Last night you gave us a good sleep. Father, with good health and happiness, you who woke us up this morning and to look at your face for this wonderful opportunity, we are telling you thank you. Father, we worship you. Father, we praise you. We are telling you thank you. Last night, Father, you gave your protection. Father, even last night, you took care of us. And by your grace, we are awake this morning with good health, with healing, with happiness. Is your grace, Lord Jesus. And we give ourselves into thy hands. This morning, we worship you. We are praising you and we are telling you thank you. Father, thank you. We worship you. We praise you. We thank you. You who brought us victory so far, thank you. Again, for further leading us, thank you. You who preserved us so far, thank you. And Father, we thank you again and again for everything. Father, we pray for all those who are hearing this voice today. Father, wherever they are, let your grace prevail. In the name of Jesus, we bless and pray for them with heavenly protection, heavenly happiness, heavenly peace. Fill your children, we pray. Father, let their family life be be blessed the children that you're blessed we bless them we bless their life partner father let them be a blessing at the workplace let them be a blessing in the nation wherever they are everywhere to be a miracle we pray in the name of jesus 
Father, this morning, we pray for the sick today. You who have the authority over heaven and earth. Father, let every ties of sickness be untied. Every every acidity in the stomach and in the chest. In the name of Jesus, let them be healed. In the name of Jesus, let them be healed. Those who have got a pain in the left knee. As they arise from their bed or wherever they want to try to walk from. Father, complete healing. We declare it upon them. Those who have got allergy in the body. Right now, let your children be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed we pray in the name of Jesus thank you Lord thank you the spirit of allergy in the name of Jesus leave the body of the children of God let it come down we command it in the name of Jesus hallelujah father those who are affected by COVID-19 in the hospitals at home father we are praying in the name of Jesus father in the name of Jesus let that infection be gone the infection in the lungs let it be gone every difficulty in the breathing let it be gone let health be restored back to your children let peace be restored back father your works thank you for it is being revealed in the life of your children father thank you lord thank you today miraculously thank you for protecting and preserving your children thank you for the good health happiness peace and joy you have given to your children father we pray for those children who don't have job give job to them father god those who don't have peace in their families father we give them into thy hands let heavenly peace fill their homes those who are doing exams father we give them into thy hands the education of the children we give it into thy hands father thank you for blessing each and every one of us abundantly we give you all the glory in jesus name we pray amen 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 let the lord bless you all abundantly this morning let the peace the joy the happiness of the lord fill in your life and overflow through you and to many more who are around you abundantly and let the lord almighty bless you abundantly this morning hallelujah thank you lord thank you dear children a reminder from tomorrow onwards we have decided to do a 21 days fasting prayer so dear children of god let us join hands together with one mind and unity sit in the presence of lord fast and pray and hear what the lord wants to speak to us hallelujah today we are going to further meditate from proverbs 24 29 proverbs chapter 24 29 do not say, I will do to him just as he has done to me. I will render to the man according to his work two important things. I will do to him just as he has done to me. Secondly, I will render to the man according to his work. Do not say so. When we are living in this world, there are principles for the kingdom of God. And only if we lead according to the principle of God in our life can we enjoy the blessing that God has kept for us. Though we are living in this world, the psalmist is saying, we are not of this world. Hallelujah. Like how the ordinary people in this world live, react and talk. We as the children of God don't have the right for that. Here it is saying, if someone has done harm to us, if there is something bad to you, if they have said something, we should not say that I will do to him just as he has done to me. That is the character of an ordinary man. The Holy Spirit is telling us we should not do like that. He has harmed me or that person did evil to me. Whatever it is another person has done to you, which has caused you to pain, to cause you harm or loss, we should not say that I will do to him just as he has done to me, or I will render to the man according to his work. The same word he has done, I will do to him. We should not say that or do that, for we don't have the right to do it, for we are different. We are the children of God. We heard yesterday. Yesterday, Jesus is with us. How many of you enjoyed yesterday's message? Jesus is with us. And we cannot do what Jesus does not like. On the cross, what did Jesus say? Because they don't know what they are doing. Forgive them. This morning also, if someone has hurted you, your friend, your colleague who is working with you, your home people, your neighbors, if they have done something wrong and if you say, I will do to them what they have done, what is the difference between you and them? 
child of God. You are the sons and daughters of the Most High God. If not that person, the other person has done something harm to you. Do not say that you will do the same back to them. We are not here to judge them or to revile back to them or to do revenge to them. We are the children of the most compassionate and the merciful God. In Proverbs twenty twenty two, it says, Do not say, I will recompense evil. Wait for the Lord and he will save you. That is what we have to do. Do not say, I will recompense Lord evil. I will recompense evil. But wait for the Lord. Let us say to the Lord, Lord, Father, I have got this problem. He has done this to me. Give them an understanding. Deliver them from what they are doing and help me and wait for the Lord. And what he tried to harm you, the Lord will turn it for your good. We have seen in many children's life, they planned evil against them. But then it turned for our good many a times. Many a times. Why don't we enjoy the goodness of the Lord because we speak against others and we also try to harm them the way they have done to us. But dear child, listen, say that my God will not allow anything harm to come to me if he has planned against you, if he has tried to harm you. My God, as long as he is with me, he is more than enough to protect and do it good for me. Look at Joseph. His brothers tried to harm him, but his, he did not have any anger or revenge to his brothers. Joseph, when he had so many things in his hand, when he had authority in his hand, he could do anything to his brothers. The brothers thought that once their father died, that Joseph would take revenge unto them. But Joseph, what did he say? He said to his brothers, you tried to harm me, but the Lord did good unto me. Hallelujah. So when we say that we will also try to harm them, Dear child, there is no difference between you and them. So let us not recompense evil, but wait for the Lord and he will save you. In Romans twelve seventeen, it says, Repay no one evil for evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. Repay no one evil for evil. Repay no one evil for evil. But what should you do? Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. We might say, because of that person, I lost my job. Or because of that person, I lost my promotion. Because of that person, I am suffering today. No, dear child of God, even if a strand of your hair has to fall down, God has to know it. Nothing will happen in your life without the knowledge of God. If that person has done that, when you see him doing, remember that God is aware about it for nothing happens happens without God's knowledge probably God has allowed it that is why he is doing so in faith you should say if he's done that for my harm God will do it for my good hallelujah how many of you have experienced it dear child of God repay no one for evil in first Peter 3 9 it says not returning evil for evil or reviling for reviling but on the contrary blessing knowing that you were called to this that you may inherit a blessing because you have been called to be a blessing dear child of God don't return evil for evil or reviling for reviling but what should we do we have been called to enjoy the blessing of God hallelujah so say to the Lord Lord I bless this person if someone has harmed you if someone has hurted you if someone has sent bad to you and if he comes in before you you should say Lord thank you for they have for you are turning the things that they have done for my good. Probably we might have a little difficulty to handle them. But dear child of God, give it into the hands of the Lord and pray for him. Say, let them be filled with the Holy Spirit. Bless them. And when you pray in this manner, our Lord will turn our life from glory to glory, from blessing to blessing. So be it in your church, be it your neighbor, be it in your home, be it your neighbors, be it your friends, be it your colleagues, be it people at your workplace who are studying with you. Whoever tries to harm you, dear child of God, don't return evil for evil or reviling for reviling. 
Give it into the hands of the Lord and wait. The Lord will turn it for your good. The Lord will turn it for your good. You have been called to enjoy a blessing. So not returning evil for evil or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, blessing, knowing that you were called to this, that you may inherit a blessing. And when you live your life in this manner, you will see the mighty hand of the Lord in favor of you. So do not forget this word, dear child of God. Hallelujah. Yeah, bless others, those who curse you and pray for those who try to harm you. That is why today the Holy Spirit is reminding you this today. Hallelujah. Do not say, I will work the same way they have worked against me. But say that I will pray for them and pray and let the Lord bless you abundantly. In the name of Jesus, we will grow, we will increase and we will multiply. I am blessed. I am really blessed and I am permanently blessed. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you today. Hallelujah.